All right, buddy, tell us what happened. My heater core blew up. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> so I'm so sad, dude. I just want to get this stupid engine swap, this whole car. Okay, but yeah, by the way, it started steaming out my heater core so bad, I had to pull that off and it blew some cooling out. That's no good. Yeah, it's on the floor. Yeah. Wait, let's, see, to... let's see the inside. No, you want me to tell them what happened real fast? Yeah, first? go ahead. Okay, so I, I, I'll admit, part of this is my own stupidity and my own negligence. I started this because I wanted to give it some running time, get it warmed up and give it a few cycles. I've driven it a few times actually, and it was totally fine when I drove it. And this time I didn't drive it. I was letting it sit and idle out there. Matt and I were busy in the shop doing something else and I wasn't paying attention. I was just letting it idle do its thing. And I guess I didn't stop and check, but I think the uh, fans weren't coming on. I don't know why I have to look at it. I'll have to figure out what happened to keep the fans from coming on. But obviously it got too hot. And I, actually looking inside, I don't think the engine itself got too hot. I don't think it damaged the engine itself, but it did blow the heater core. <laughs> So let's go show you what happened there. <laughs> I can't even see through the windshield, too. Oh gosh. Oh no. Totally steamed. Oh no, dude. Full of that? water. Trash, dude. Totally trashed. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm not laughing at you. Stop laughing. I'm laughing, at me. I'm laughing with you. No, I'm not laughing, so you're not laughing with me. Here, let's just soak up that on the floor with this soaked wet, yeah, soaked get, drag. You clean my shop up or what? Uh, so now what? All right, so now I'll go ahead and announce two things. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not, I'm not. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Uh, we put so much work into this, and this stupid heater core blew up that easy. It didn't even get that hot, dude. It sat out there for a few minutes without a fan on it and it did that. Didn't even get that hot. All right, two things. One, apparently we're gonna be showing you guys how to do a heater core, which means we get to pull the dash out, which I'm not excited about at all, because I didn't want to do that. I'm actually sick that day, so. Oh, you're sick that day? Yeah. You didn't even know what day it is yet, you asshole. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we're going to be doing a heater core, and we'll guess we're going to have to show you guys how to do that. And the second thing we'll be showing you guys is a leak down test. And I was planning on doing that anyways, but now I have even more incentive to because even though I don't think the engine itself overheated, I do need to make sure that the engine itself is okay. And uh, a leak down test should tell us that the head gasket is healthy. It should tell us about everything else going on there, if it's healthy or not. And uh, give us just it gives you a good idea of what's going on with the engine. So my friend has a leak down tester. I'm gonna go ahead and borrow it from him in the next few days, and we'll go ahead and do a video guys showing you guys how to do a leak down test. And honestly, that's a lot better than doing just a compression test. A compression test gives you a good idea of things, but a leak down test gives you a much more accurate, um, I don't know, a much more accurate picture of each cylinder and what's going on in each of them. So we'll be showing you how to do that and. I guess the heater core too, huh? <laughs> I know, but either way, I know I've been telling you guys that turbo build is coming soon in this thing, and trust me, I want it so bad. I promise you, the turbo build will come soon. It's just gonna have to come when I'm able to, and when we have time, because obviously now we hit another roadblock. So. <laughs> either way, that gives you a little picture of uh, what's going on with the reborn Miata here. And apparently it's rebirth is not going so well. And it's like halfway through an abortion or something. <laughs> it, was a, it was a hardcore water birth. Yeah. Well, I guess that tells you guys at least what's going on. So thanks for checking in with me. And don't forget, keep wrenching. Even if I don't feel like it right now. Because I'm just really sad about this. <laughs> oh, it's not fun But I love you guys. Thanks for following along with us. We'll, uh, we'll pick back up with this real soon.